T. Colin Campbell. He read this research paper and he was shocked to read this that actually it is promoting cancer. More you take dairy product, there is a study that clearly says that you will become more and more insulin resistant. I ask people that you must check what is the food of your food. Is it hormones, pesticides? I'd like to invite Dr. Rupasha ma'am to continue with the next session and give her talk. It's a little... Uh, interesting topic because uh, this is something that is so interwoven with our life uh, uh, you know who rings the bell sabse pehle first in the morning who rings the bell is the milkman right our day begins with milkman you wake up in the morning the first thing my cup of tea and then the day begins so uh, here i'm going to just quickly explore this subject properly and see what is there in the dairy so as in the morning somebody did mention that every mammal feed their young ones and so the milk is only for that particular offspring but we humans consume milk of other species we are the only one and india is one of the world's largest milk producer our share is 22 percent and our average consumption per person is about 355 grams per day daily and these are the various things that we eat all the time very casually neatly packed well presented and tempting us all the time so what's the problem with dairy so there was a original research that came from india by these two indian scientists uh, from the national institute of nutrition in hyderabad gopalan and madhavan in 1967 they demonstrated that protein found in cow's milk, which is called as casein, actually causes cancer tumors to grow, not only grow, grow rapidly. So this was a very unusual research. And someone who is in the nutrition field who was doing research, T. Colin Campbell, he read this research paper and he was surprised because he was assigned a role of uh, how proteins are good uh, particularly they think protein is from meat animal protein for human development and he was shocked to read this that actually it is promoting cancer so he decided to replicate the study he contacted those authors and he didn't believe it because he thought this was wrong but he replicated and he found the same thing and then his path of life completely changed and then later on he published this a uh, mega volume called as the China study where the results uh, were published from the largest nutritional study in the world in his book called as China study which triggered the revolution of whole food plant-based diet. Dairy animals are given routinely antibiotics because they are given some hormones and their udders are very big, they live in unhygienic conditions you have to give them some or other antibiotics and so they are in the milk they are susceptible to infection quite a lot they live in a very pathetic condition most of the time so uh, these antibiotics are in the milk and are one of the cause of multi-drug resistance so i think i was a vegetarian i used to eat a lot of organic food and i was very proud i don't take much allopathic I never realized that by drinking milk, I was drinking all those antibiotics that I had no idea about. Now, uh, this milk also has growth hormone. It can be from its own source and also sometimes they are given the growth hormones as injections and so that also is going to be a problem. Uh, this is a WHO data that talks about dioxins, which is kind of missed. Uh, these are the chemicals which are highly toxic, which are in a very high concentration in the dairy and are carcinogenic. And uh, in, in, whenever something is very priced, you know, milk is a comfortable, happy, middle class product, right? Poor people can't afford it. It's still like unreachable. But so it is adulterated a lot because that's the industry. Like just before Diwali, you will surely read a newspaper story saying that uh, 2,000 uh, kilo of mawa was found which was adulterated or some paneer was found somewhere invariably because this is what happens. I can't understand how they can sell a cheese pizza on street 
at 30 rupees with loaded with cheese i wonder what cheese that is because you can't afford only so that adulteration has other set of chemicals you don't know the source at all then lactose intolerance that's a um, very well known fact all pediatricians know and uh, they definitely do first thing whenever there is cold cough or uh, ear pain then they want to eliminate dairy products so milk allergy is known and as soon as you stop those products you label them as lactose intolerant and then you put them on other dairy alternatives and they do extremely well then there are all these diseases that are transmitted in the dairy milk like all this typhoid diphtheria poliomyelitis as well so that's another danger uh, of course dairy consumption is uh, directly linked with the insulin resistance so uh, more you take dairy product there is a study that clearly says that you will become more and more insulin resistant then there is a link with type 1 and type 2 diabetes and uh, there are these carbs in the milk which will break down and become sugar so that will of course raise your blood sugar autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis type 1 diabetes they all have link with the dairy consumption then osteoporosis so there was a study uh, which is already mentioned often again and again 12 year harvard study talking about they found that those who consume more dairy are actually uh, risking their bones they will get fractures more easily then how dairy affects your hormone levels so uh, a cow is giving milk and after 3 months of giving birth she is made uh, pregnant again through artificial insemination so uh, the milk production is going on for her baby if she is a female calf of course but if she delivered a male calf maybe he is dead but she is giving the milk for the dairy farmer like that's the industry she is kept for that she'll be giving milk but she's pregnant also she's pregnant and what is the pregnancy and hormones very high levels so you can see it has got 20 times more estrogen now the glass of milk that comes on your table in the house do you know do you know about it you think it's healthy that's all that you know right you don't know that it might be coming from a pregnant cow you have no clue what's coming and how much is the estrogen so there is a study that suggests that igf1 is playing a very strong role in the breast cancer in women so there are all these uh, different reasons given so this is now pay attention that now we are seeing more and more breast cancer cases in india as well uh, women as young as 30 or also getting diagnosed so igf1 with the cow milk with the breast cancer then uh, the same high hormones what it will do high levels of hormones right it's going to do something in your body it will be in the milk and if the girls take it they may get pcod and the uh, infertility in women the hormones in the dairy might be interfering with their fertility cycle so that nobody is paying attention then uh, the, the this is another study that has said acne a uh, teenagers simple all the teenagers who have acne my first instruction is stop eating cheese which is i think their staple every day this cheese you know in some item cheese sandwich cheese burger whatever so uh, um, dramatic results in 21 day there are no new acne and they have uh, they are like overwhelmed i said just one instruction nothing else i don't tell them go dairy free 100% but just the cheese alone and is also linked having some link with cancer as well more you eat cheese more is the casein more is the cancer then dairy has also prostate cancer link so uh, they say that uh, there are certain chemicals in the dairy and including the igf1 they are going to stimulate the prostate so i have seen a lot in vegetarian pe- men you know that that's a bit surprise like they eat clean non alcoholic never smoked and suddenly at 75 advanced stage of prostate cancer not knowing from where it comes when a big disease strikes i always wonder body does not lie it has to have a sequence a story a reason and then a disease happens and where is the cause that you must investigate and then you will find that they are drinking 
two glasses of milk and curd and whatever you know because someone told them to have strong bones or whatever and suddenly there's prostate cancer we haven't gone to the dairy farm and check the practices over there i ask people that you must check what is the food of your food do you understand what i'm saying what is the food that your food has taken is it hormones pesticides what has been given to that cow what are they eating if they are eating it will be in that including the plastic right even the plastic is eaten all that will go and then will do something in your body then autism and casein link have you heard about it yeah so many autistic children are going uh, dairy free and they improve dramatically there must be a deeper reason behind it but they do gluten free and they also do casein free i mean dairy free they do extremely well then uh, psoriasis we have some real dramatic cases of psoriasis totally reverse then of course now alzheimer's disease i already have elderly people in my my own family and extended family all diagnosed with alzheimer's quite sad to see them like this but i see to it it is got link with the dairy products that they are having then ibs of course irritable bowel syndrome a uh, very strong link with the dairy products they can't digest dairy they get either diarrhea bloating gas then uh, saturated fats in the milk of course are directly related to heart disease cholesterol of course is there and directly link with heart so also dr neil barnard says that you will see saturated fat in the milk is responsible for many lifestyle diseases now do you know that uh, the milk contains some cholesterol right that's the reason we see dramatic change in 21 days uh, we take their uh, blood cholesterol day 1 and then 21 days later take that blood test again and you see a huge drop in cholesterol level easily because here you are eliminating the source of cholesterol so where is the cholesterol give me two names dairy and the second one eggs and here are all the list of the dairy products that have the most cholesterol so just it's there everywhere basically remember it's everywhere so ghee ghee also like favorite of many people ayurveda recommends so much so i say why no to ghee because it is again all saturated fat and it's going to raise the bad cholesterol in your body and then push you more towards heart disease so absolutely no to ghee ghee is a highly processed product there is no tree where the ghee is falling or something it is all so many processes finally a you know product comes out highly processed no fiber it's only saturated fat so our concept of ayurveda also will not work here then uh, of course there are links with dairy and high blood pressure and there are studies that clearly prove that when you go on a whole food plant based diet the blood pressure starts dropping then essential fatty acids see in the human milk there are this uh, mono and polyunsaturated uh, fatty acids which are for the brain development now these are not there in buffalo or cow milk what do we say in our uh, local language gujarati or hindi to to bhes jevo che buffalo you are like a buffalo you don't have brain we say like that sarcoidosis also i have known a case of sarcoidosis of a doctor's wife who she reversed it completely when she went off dairy uh, otherwise she was taking lot of steroids and lot of suffering <coughs> and of course cheese is highly addictive right we tell people can you give up tomato for a month he'll be happy i'll give it up but when you tell him cheese cheese no i can't give up cheese cheese itself has casomorphins which are highly addictive basically this uh, binds the mother and baby that's why you have this casomorphin but then it starts binding us to that very product that's why there are dairy addicts right they are all addicted to milk they have to have one glass of milk before they go to sleep i know those kind of addicts and why no to curd what do you think why i say no to curd though it's like all आर इंडियन कल्चर नो छाछ तो पी सकते हैं ना डॉक्टर छाछ और घी दीज आर द टू एंड फॉर यंगस्टर्स इज द चीज दिल से एंड ऑल द होल पॉपुलेशन ऑलमोस्ट कीप्स बैगिंग चाय तो पीने दो कम से कम बाकी सब छोड़ देंगे 
so why no to curd because it still has the same original ingredients in it and then finally this was already shown earlier also why what is the real cost of dairy how many how many liters of water for 1 liter of milk maybe 1000 i heard i read something in the morning so human beings get diseases and we are sick right that's the cost of dairy for whatever we want to have second animals suffering to the animals then environment we are losing the our precious forest for the pasture to feed all these animals and of course finally ethically spiritually we want to align we don't want to be party to kill or be responsible for their pain and suffering i just met a spiritual person somewhere and he just mentioned that if a if a cow has lost her baby she's grieving right and her milk actually is not suitable for anybody to use it it's more like a sad depressed cow who is grieving and what chemicals will go into her milk that you will drink that you will feel her pain and exactly go through the same thing so these are the questions obviously no one is asking this was also shown in the morning all the plant based uh, milk are uh, good for the environment because it uses the minimum resources but all other ones you can see is going to use a lot of resources so the cost of milk is extremely high Uh, for just our tongue and some concepts that we have this is the chart from uh, scarydairy.org says that can you see the last line that where is the calcium but it's just the same you know all of them you know these are the resources uh, nutritionfacts.org dr michael greger uh, plant based data by dr tushar mehta who is in canada he's got incredible information lots of research papers all back there on all kinds of plant based uh, diet subject i also pulled out some of the research papers from there pcrm is dr neil bernard uh, nutritionstudies.org uh, freedom from diabetes has a few and viva.org is from uk that is uh, the vegan organization for animal compassion so they also have a booklet which is right here So this is nutritionfacts.org has tons of data just uh, uh, you keep asking for the subject they have the data these are the books that re- i read in the beginning and that changed uh, my foundation uh, i became plant based 15 years ago and i was very overwhelmed with the results because uh, just for 30 days when i gave up dairy products i saw that my migraine headache which i was suffering for 18 years completely disappeared in the first week no attacks second week no third week fourth week nothing i lost couple of kilo effortlessly i felt very energetic every morning i wake up with no pain no acidity no body ache feeling very light i was 47 then i felt like 17 then i said my goodness it appears like a new birth i and the, as the weeks passed by i realized how clean the system becomes how you have now no more those antibiotic load and anything that you know molecules of dairy in your product just slowly living and the mental and emotional state was incredible i never felt so calm uh once i gave up the dairy totally calm clear centered and the word stress went out of my dictionary completely so this is a book i have written it has already sold thousands of copies but also it is available free pdf it's there on so many website as just given away anyone can download and take it and it, so finally this is what is in the glass of milk just i forgot about mentioning the pus cells in a certain amount is allowed uh, and certain amount is not allowed there can be blood because constantly their udders are injured there can be contamination of feces painkillers antibiotics growth hormones just so there's a long list everything is there think about it when a glass of uh, milk comes on your table uh, if a mother is breastfeeding again you will not want to give her much antibiotics because it will go in the breast milk but have you asked the glass of milk that comes on your table the mother of that gl- milk what have you taken what are you given you have never asked and we don't even know the origin all the milk is all mixed you don't know anything about it 
so uh, finally the doctor of the future will no longer treat human with drugs but rather will cure and prevent the diseases with nutrition this is the fact these are all the references that i have taken thank you <laughs>